For the most part of human history, mechanical beings couldn't think. We have an intuitive field. No computer can do that. And if they did, their decision making was limited. This remained true till wizards of our time created a tool called programming. And this revolutionized everything. There's an app for that. Here it is. It's a beauty. Now we have apps that wake us up at a specific time and autonomous doors. Yet yeah, there seems to be a huge technological leap from autonomous doors to machines that can learn. Portable computer called the IBM 50. Take OpenAI 5 for example. This piece of software learned how to play Dota 2. Dota is one of the most popular and challenging competitive video games ever. Dota 2 is a real-time strategy game that is so technical that people dedicate their entire lives to mastering the game. Yet, this AI learned to play the game by playing against itself and won. What I mean by the AI won is not that the AI managed to beat some mid-tier players consistently. No, the AI absolutely crushed Whoa champions. How did this piece of software, a bunch of ones and zeros, achieve such an incredible feat? More importantly, how do machines have a sentient-like drive to learn? First, we have to observe the master of programming biological systems, nature. <laughs> Many of nature's creations make decisions based on their natural programming. By stepping outside and observing how biological systems interact, we can start to understand how they learn. Take for example, the oak tree. This tree started out as a seed, an agent of this world. When the seed is placed in an environment with no water and soil, what does it do? The seed remains inert or inactive. As if the seed knows that the best action to take in this state with no soil and water is to do nothing. When the seed is placed in an environment with soil and water, the seed decides to sprout. For doing the right action in the correct state, the seed gets to grow into a tree to reap the rewards. And the cycle repeats. So how do we steal this drive to live and implement it in code? artificial intelligence research and it's called reinforcement learning with the ability to model mother nature you would think that this technology is only reserved for the scientific elite what might shock you is that anyone with a functioning computer can program their own little robot let me show you how okay there are many ingredients to this process and i'll have to go through them quickly so try to keep up first we have your agent this is your curious little robot they'll do all the learning next your agent is placed in an environment Basically, the world that your robot interacts with. Now we have the states. States are the situations that your agent can find themselves in. You can think of states as weather conditions of the world. In each state, your agent can perform many actions. Actions are your choices that your agents make to interact with the world. Lastly, you have your rewards. This is what your agent receives in return after completing an action. Rewards can be both negative or positive, which is a bit confusing, but just go with it. And now, time to put what we just learned into code. What we have here is a very simple version of an AI that is trained using reinforcement learning. So what the agent is trying to do is to balance a stick on a card. The agent can move the card to the left or to the right to balance the stick. If the agent moves the card to the right, this happens. Now to run through the code. First, we have a function called getAction. This function tells the agent what action to do. Move left or move right. Next, we have a function called playOneEpisode. This function places the agent of our choice in the environment and allows the agent to play one round. After each round, the agent gets a score based on how long the poll was up. The highest score attainable is 100, which shows that the poll was up 100% of the time. After the episode has ended, we keep the score of the agent. We keep this score as a benchmark for future versions of our agent. So now we need to train our agent to get a higher score. That's where this function comes in. 
the train function places a new version of the agent in the environment and checks the score. If the score is higher than our best score, this version of our agent gets to be the new benchmark and the high score is updated. After we run the code, we will get an agent that can balance a stick on a cart. This feels a bit too simple. The knowledge that uh, these systems contain, at least we hope to put in the knowledge of world-class experts. You might think that what I'm showing you is fake. Well, you are both right and wrong. The code on screen does produce an agent that learns by itself through iterations and evolution. However, there are many layers to the code that we do not get to see. From the simulation of an environment that our agent can interact with to the math that governs the reward system and decision-making process. What you are seeing here is built on years of scientific research and testing. To explain everything would sadly be out of the scope of this video, so take this as an introduction into the fascinating technology of reinforcement learning.